but does he inspire you? Do you is oh, he somebody yeah. you say that oh he's inspired your political career? Uh, no. Okay. No, but somebody who has inspired me mm. is Nelson Mandela. Right. Mama Agada. Mama Agada. This is expressive and we are live. It's our Dope Mondays, Dose of Power and Enrichment. So we're making sure that we add some power and enrichment to your Monday. Absolutely. Our guest this morning is an, a professional accountant, but is also the leader of the Liberty Party of Ghana, mm. LPG. Mm. We're very happy to welcome presidential hopeful, Percival Kofi Akpalu. <laughs> good morning, sir. Morning. Good morning. It's good, it's good to see you here. Good to see you, but the name is Liberal. Liberal, Liberal. Party. It's a liberal party. Of Ghana. It's a liberal party of, of Ghana. Ghana. LPG. 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 Yeah, LPG. Yeah, ah, now that's the term. Yeah, uh -huh. When you mention LPG, we respond. Yeah, mm. Mm. Then on the second time, mm. then we say Someha. Na na som I thought yeah, you yeah. did away with the Someha. <laughs> na someha. No, 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 no. It's still there. It's still so LPG. Yeah, LPG. Someha. <laughs> you would explain to us what all of this means. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, quickly go for our quote of the day. Uh, let's take a look at the quote of the day. When we come back, I have a question for uh, our presidential candidate. Hey, anyone who clicked. Expressive quote of the day. Anyone who claims to be a leader must speak like a leader. That means speaking with integrity and truth. Kamala Harris. And that's the quote from, you know, our very own Kamala. We are all claiming her now <laughs> because she's a black woman. We're all, you know, claiming her. But you saw that quote or you heard me read the quote. Oh, yeah. What's your own definition of who a leader is? A leader... To me, somebody who can easily uh, influence mm. and uh, somebody who, apart from integrity and being honest, he should be able to have what you call EQ, IQ, and then SQ to get himself the excellent quotient. You see, that's the emotional quotient, mm. intelligent quotient, social quotient, and then also uh, excellent quotient. I would assume you have all of it. I do. It, because it's very, very necessary. You need, it, because you need to move people mm. along. You Is it you are an accountant? Yes, I am. You have a lot of money? Uh, money I have. Oh, are you a millionaire? <laughs> yeah, um, I am. Okay. So yeah. you obviously invest in your own party, LPG. Why not? T tell us about the journey so far. When did Mr. Kofi Akpalu decide to become president? And when did you begin the journey? towards the presidential campaign? Actually, when I was six years. When you were six, six years old? Yes, wow. when I was six years. That's just primary one, I believe. Yes, <laughs> uh, and I was sitting with my friends, and I was telling them, when I grew up, I'll be uh, an aban. You know, in three years, may I buy? May I buy? Then I'll make sure say, we have uh, buses on our roads. Wow. That was what I was telling my friends. We were sitting, we were making these uh, can uh, small small t uh, toys you know and um, actually in 2004 uh, i had a dream and in the dream i was told to contest the mentia but i was not going to win the so, dream said you're not you going to win yeah. right so yeah. why contest them uh god has a plan for everyone okay mm. you know because i don't know tomorrow he does so uh, he gave me that uh, uh go ahead to do it so i contested i came second I managed to beat NDC there, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but uh, MPP, I couldn't. And uh, then 2010, uh, that, that was uh, 10th of March, 11th, and then 12th and 13th of my half, four consecutive days, I had a series of dreams concerning the presidency. Mm -hmm. So I decided to pursue it. And uh, uh, I, I know. Uh, I win elections, 2020 elections. I win That's it. interesting. Since it yeah. says you decided to you know, that you, you will become president. Yeah. We also like to know what, contrib what are the contributions you made during this journey towards the movement that we are, we are now. Where did you go to school? What preparations did you make for your future to become president? All of that. Uh, actually, 
uh, I struggled in school. Uh, you, were, you were in a shop, you mean? No, I was very, very, very sharp. Or financially? <laughs> no, I was very, very sharp. Mm. But, you see, I struggled in the sense that uh, people didn't understand me. So I was being sacked from schools, you know. Mm. Yeah, so because I'm somebody, I speak my mind. You know, right. whether you are the headmaster, the head teacher, or whatever, I don't give a damn because I will say... So that means you are disrespectful? No. You know, in Africa, mm. that's the problem. Mm. That is why they uh, keep us now, you know. Grounded. Yeah, because it's like when you say to uh, voice out, they say, hey, you, you, don't respect. you don't respect, you know. So, I mean, they make us coward, you know. Mm. Uh -huh. But I'm, I'm not that type. You've always spoken your mind. Exactly. Outspoken. Yeah, yeah I would like, say as it is. You say that yeah. as it is. You, you know, you said uh, uh, integrity and truth. Yeah. You know, that's me, you know. Mm -hmm. because I would say as it is. Yeah. You have the quality of a leader. Always, yes, I do. You always okay. speak the truth. Always, always. All we'll the time. ask you some questions and we demand you to speak the truth. But before we get to, you know, that yeah. part, we want to know you more. So clearly, we want to know, uh, you know, your professional experience. If you don't mind, you can talk us through, you know, your national service and even some intentions that you have done. Oh, intentions. I, I, oh actually, intentions. Uh, my first one was at KBL, Kumasi Brewery Limited. And then uh, Guinea's Ghana Limited. Okay. Daco Farms. Um, Gold Link, but later I ended up working at Gold Link, mm. and then also uh, Capital Radio. I was the uh, first accountant, and um, from Capital, Capital Radio mm. I went to uh, UK to pursue a course in accountancy uh, at Emma Wood College, and from there to South Bank University, and then to Debbie University. And uh, I've worked with Free Dreams. I've worked with Northern Trust Investor Services. And I've also worked for myself uh, as a uh, uh, public accountant. Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of in. schools over there. How many degrees do you have? Degrees. Uh, I have ACCA. Oh, okay. So I'm a fellow of the ACCA. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Then I have uh, two masters. That's the MA in accounting. Have from two, South you have two master, master yes. degrees. Yes. MA in accounting from South Bank University. And then... MBA from uh, the strategic management from W University. Are you right. going to pursue it any further? Come again? Are you going to pursue more education? Education uh, heights? Oh, we are learning every day. Mm. Every day we are learning. So yeah. Maybe doctorate very soon? Oh, uh, I don't have that in mind. Mm. I don't have uh, At the time, you will be in the Jubilee. Because house, already, little time. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, already people start calling me Dr. Palu, Dr. Palu, because <laughs> so people in their mind, they They've call They've already me. given it yeah, to Honorary title. doctor. Yeah. Yeah. You're already a doctor. <laughs> what are some of the biggest challenges you've faced in life in general? Mm, I, don't, I don't think I remember. You really? remember any challenges? No. Or life because, life is in smooth sailing then? Uh, yeah, because me, to me, when I see something, that other people will see as a problem. I see them as an opportunity mm. uh, to create something. So mm. nothing holds you so back. So even even no. in 2016, when you didn't make it to the yeah, I just give thanks to God. I just give thanks to God, and uh, because uh, God has a plan mm. and has a purpose for everyone. Because uh, mm. somewhere 1989, He spoke to me that Kofi have made you an accountant. Mm. That time I stopped school. <laughs> okay. I've taught school, but he said, Kofi, I've made you an accountant, so go back to school. Mm. And then I went to school, and I came as an accountant. So uh, when he told me I should trust him on the 4th of November, 1989, I saw a dream. And in the dream, I saw three white doves. Mm. And uh, one wanted, I wanted to catch one. Mm. And then he laid an egg in my right hand. Mm. So there was this inscription, trust in God. Mm. And ever since, I've been trusting in God, and he has never disappointed me. Mm. So... I mean, what is difficult to some people, to me, it's not... You take it easier. <laughs> yeah, because in life, I'm not looking for money to make me happy. Uh, what uh, keep, keeps me going is to help other people. If I'm able to help somebody, then I'm okay. Mm. You know, I started this, my school, as a, a press because I came down from Europe and mm. I realized a lot of young people are coming out from DHS graduating from JHS and they were not getting access to secondary school. So I said, oh, why not? I start something. So at least I can help those young people. Mm -hmm. So and I'm happy even I, I got here today and one of your uh, colleagues said, oh, uh, she was in my school. Yeah. And I, 
Okay. This give me joy, you know. Okay. This give me joy because okay. yeah, that's you, you that's mentioned a lot of dreams and you, you you talk about God a lot. Are you more religious or you're more spiritual? Uh, uh, more spiritual. You're more spiritual. Yeah. You talk yeah. to God. He directs your. Oh path. yes. In your dreams, you see doves, all that stuff. Yeah. So my my children, uh, they dot by the first girl. Though it happens to be the second girl because I love the first girl. Okay. The second Sorry. girl, uh, her name is uh, Dove. Dove. I created that name. Dove and then the egg. I put them together. <laughs> so her name is Dove. <laughs> yeah. Nana, well, why is it because of what you saw in your dream? What the name Dove? Come again. Is it because of what you saw in your dream? Yes. Not mm. to forget about what I saw. Mm. So I created that name. Dove Egg. And it's, it's, you know some people have changed their name to that. Mm. To Dove Egg. And, okay. uh, uh, and then my last boy uh, is Dobson. No, Dobson. I created that name. Dove, Dove son. Dove son. So Dobson and Duveg. Yeah, Dobson and Duveg. <laughs> I see. Very special names yes. you have. Oh, yeah. Oh, my children uh, have Kelvin. That's the first boy. Mm. Then I have Christopher. I have uh, Duveg. I have Golden. I have mm. Platinum. Mm. And then I have Dobson. Oh, cool. I have three girls, three boys. So you have do golden and platinum. And platinum. I know so some who golden, are excited Apalu, about platinum. Platinum, platinum, <laughs> Yeah. How interesting names you are in your home. How many children do you yeah, have? Yeah, because I'm a Vuterian. You know, Vuterian, we <laughs> always get good names. We always good, good names, you know. You always, you always get interesting names. Please, yeah, yeah, good names. My Redeemer event class is a yeah. whole sentence. Uh -huh. And it's a name. Yes. How many, how many children do you have? I have three boys, three girls. Oh, you have six. Six. Yeah. Interesting names you have for all mm. of them. So. Mm. Yeah, I, I need a ten. But uh, along the line, I decided to let my wife rest. Oh. So you've given up on the 10? Yes. Yeah, so because Six is fine. Yes, yeah, six is okay. Okay, let's mm -hmm. come back to you and politics. Um, yes, you told us, you've told us that you had a dream and that's why you got into politics. But I'm sure when you got into it, you looked up to some people. Some people inspired you. We want to know what and who, what or who, you know, are your inspirations. Oh, actually, uh, a person like Gaddafi. Mm. Mama Gaddafi. Okay. And uh, uh, Mandela. These are the people who have been inspiring me, and I believe that uh, I can do Ma something. Mama Al Gaddafi. Yeah. It's one of the people who inspires yeah. you. That means yeah. you must love Rollins as well. Oh, R Rollins, I don't know anybody who hates Rollins. <laughs> oh, really? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't. <laughs> you see, I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's any single individual in this mm. country who hates Rollins. Mm. Because anybody who hates Rollins may be because of what happened in 1979. We all experienced that because my uh, other mother, I would mm. say, I don't know, I don't know how, to, my mom's sister. Auntie? My auntie, I would say my auntie, yeah. Uh, she was brutally treated. Okay. Even my dad, too, mm. went through a whole lot. So, during, during 1979. 1979, because I remember where. Uh, in, uh, uh, in our village, mm. and then we heard the news that my father has been arrested and has been mm. taken, blah blah. You know, but so you don't hold and any even grudges. That, you don't oh, hate no, 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 like it, it's not Rollins. You see, when you when you grow up, they realize that some people hated other people, but because they took, uh, I mean, decided to do things on toward, you know, using because we have personal grudge with you, and we use that occasion to do whatever they did, you know, so. Rollins, I oh, don't know. No grudges. No, no, not at all. all, not at all. And I don't think there's any individual uh, in Ghana who hates Rollins. Nobody hates Rollins. No. Hmm. But does he inspire you? Do you, is oh, he somebody yeah. you say that, oh, he's inspired your political career? Uh, no. Okay. No. But somebody who has inspired me mm. is Nelson Mandela. Right. Mama Al Gaddafi. Mama Al Gaddafi. Yeah, because uh, why. Gaddafi, because Gaddafi was somebody who was trying to do things locally. Yeah. Mm. You know, if you look at the, the oil, yeah, no foreign country. There were no foreign investors. Foreign, owing, companies. foreign companies owing those oil, because the oils were uh, the Libyan. Okay? Well, because he started to employ the services of other people to come and work. Mm. How did you feel when he was killed? Oh, I wasn't happy at all. I wasn't happy, and I'll never be happy. Okay. Do, you, do you think it was connected to the oil you mentioned? Oh, sure. Because uh, they wanted to control our resources. You know, uh, we, we are in this global world with other people, and they think we don't know anything. 
as African. And it's true. So we have allowed ourselves to be cheated and they have been stealing from us. Mm. So what they do is to play what we call the divisive uh, dem democracy, you know. So you hate somebody because the person is an NDC. Mm. You hate somebody because the person is an MPP. Mm. And they are the same people who are controlling the affairs, whether MPP wins or NDC wins. So the end, of, the end result is that you and me are the people who are going to suffer. Okay. Mm. Okay, because... How come we have our own oil, but we don't control the oil? Mm -hmm. So yeah, are those the ideals you're bringing into the Jubilee Yes, house? Yeah, because we need to, to create... resources. Yeah, we need to create capital. Mm. If we want to come out of economic dependency, we need, to we need to create our own capital so that we control our own resources. Mm. We knew we had oil, but I decided not to create capital to explore the oil. What we did was that, let's give it to some white people, let them bring their money to come and do the exploration. And then they invested their money. So now they control about 80% of our oil. Mm. So we get a token out of it. Okay, fine. We the first, the first two or three uh, blocks were controlled by the... What about the resources that we got? What do we do with the resources? We should have reinvested the money. Mm to explore the rest on our own, especially the Qatar Basin and the, the Tano Basin. Mm. But we decided to, oh, white people, bring your money. So, so you are here and you are poor. allow foreign companies? No, you see, the, in this I'm, no, I'm not saying foreign companies, but I want to encourage Ghanaians mm. to begin to understand that it's good for you to be an investor yourself mm -hmm. than allowing somebody to invest in your economy. It, it, l l let me give you this typical example. We have cocoa. And every year, we'll come and raise $1.2 billion. And they'll say, oh, wow. Uh, what do you call that one? A syndicated loan, $1.2 billion capital. Dollars capital. <laughs> and then uh, we'll be singing praises and all those kind of stuff. Mm. Because we are using to buy the mm. cocoa. And then we ship them mm. to the white people. Okay? Mm. And then that ends it. We will continue to be poor. Mm. But if you raise $1 billion to build the world's largest chocolate manufacturing company right here mm -hmm. and we start producing mm -hmm. the end product mm -hmm. you will make 10 times of the money and at the same time you create jobs for our young people mm -hmm. okay instead of importing like uh, what do you call it uh, uh, rice mm -hmm. why don't you raise capital and empower people to produce rice mm -hmm. why don't you empower people to produce chicken mm. or poultry instead of importing all those things mm. because the more you import the more you are creating jobs elsewhere at the expense of your people right we'll continue to talk about your policies definitely. because many will say that is easier yes said than done definitely but we, we would continue I, I don't believe that to talk about that we if have you lots of me. messages for you i'll read a couple of them and then you answer some after the break so um good morning bliss and jackie um boniface your boy you look Awesome this morning. Thank okay. you. My question for Kofi Apalu, Mr. Kofi Apalu, is upon all the good things Nanado is doing for this nation, how sure and capable is he uh, to take the seats away from Nanado and the MPP government? Please, I want to ask Mr. the next question. Please, I want to ask Mr. Apalu, what will he do to reduce unemployment among the youth in the country if he becomes the president coming uh, December 7th? And this is from the Western region. Mr. Kofi, what single most sustainable policy will you implement to address uh, teaming youth unemployment in Ghana? And how will you do that to secure their future when given the opportunity as president? Um, this is, he's called pressure. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't have a question, but all I want to say is Mr. Apalu should continue to be who he is after gaining victory. We lack people who are honest in this country. Okay, so good morning. My question is how is he going to mobilize the youth when he comes to power? Um, George from Oti region. Lots of questions, Lots of for, questions you. for you there. But we'll go for a, co a quick commercial break. When we come back, you'd answer all your questions. But keep sending your questions on our WhatsApp number. We'll be right back. This is Expressive. <laughs> Okay, so that's 
what's up for this happy day featuring Kwame Yuji? Have you heard that song before? Oh, yeah. This is my first time. This is your, your first, first time. time. Yeah. You heard uh, Sakode's verse. Yes. What's your opinion on, you know, political songs and why don't you have one? I've not heard any body well, endorsing you or any, you know, artists singing for you or anything oh, like that. Oh, okay. Uh, I, have, I have a couple of songs. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if I've asked me, I would have given you one or two. Mm, mm. Yeah, but... For the LPG. Oh, yes. But so, what's your opinion on celebrities endorsing political parties? Oh, they are all voters. They right. all vote. Right. So, uh, they have every right to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. But I, I, don't, in, I don't have a problem with in that. In this particular song, do you agree with Sarkozy? Oh, yes. That's his, I mean, his opinion. Mm, okay. uh, he believes that Nana Kufado has done a lot mm. and he should continue. I don't mm. have a, uh, uh, a problem with that. You know, there were two uh, celebs, or what do you call them, you celebrities, or uh, artists. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they contested the American elections, and uh, I think they managed to secure some... Small, small votes. Um, small, Kanye. Small Kanye West, 50,000 yeah. so, <laughs> votes. <laughs> yeah, uh, the total was 50,000. Yes. Yeah. Then it, it means that they don't have too much influence. Mm. Okay. They don't have too much influence? No, not at all. Because they try them, it themselves. So this song that Sarkozy did for... <laughs> Oh, yeah, because this is my first time. This is my first time hearing, hearing it. it. Okay. You understand? Uh -huh. so, so, so these lyrics are so you know, wrapped and insinuated that, you know, the government is doing a great job. Will not affect the election. No, not at all. Zero. No, not no, oh, point zero zero eight. <laughs> uh, you see, the guys who are going to vote, mm. yeah, the one who can influence them is Holy Spirit. Mm. It's the Holy Spirit that can influence people to vote. You, you can just walk from your home that you're going to vote for this person or that person. You might get there, you vote for somebody. Else. Exactly. You get there. <laughs> if, no, if, if you can ask your uh, listeners yeah, or your viewers to start calling in mm. those who have gotten that kind of mm. experience. Mm. Many, many people. In this case, do you have the Holy Spirit on your side? Oh, yes, I do. I win the election. So you believe that when people are who step out to vote and have already made a decision, <coughs> they might have a change of heart exactly. once they get to the polling station. Exactly. And you know, by the time how, we finish this that's program, that's one of the ways mm. you might win. This, no, this by the time we finish this program, mm. a lot of people will resonate to vote for me. Mm. I'm telling you, and they will not end it there. They will go and tell other people to also vote for me, mm. because you see, they're number eight on the ballot. Mm. Mm. You are number eight. Number eight. And tell then, us. Tell us what your agenda is at number eight. What's the LPG's number agenda? Eight. Number eight. For us. Yeah. Number eight. For the country. Yes. I will have to tell you why number eight. Okay. okay. Right. Number eight is the angelic number. Right. Oh, yeah? Pay you or pay the Bible? No, you can Google from your, okay. your phone. All right. Just find out what is the meaning of number eight or what does number Resonates. eight stand, stands for. And then you get, I want you to read it to the people. Number eight is prophetic number. Wow. Mm. Number eight means the angelic number. The angels will vote for me. Mm. Like when you go to the Bible, in the second book of Kings, chapter six, there was this man, it's Elisha. And Elisha had, uh, was in a room with his boy. And his boy, in the morning, dawn, the boy came to him and said, I have a bad report. There are some uh, enemies have scattered around them and uh, they are in danger. So he said, oh, okay, don't worry. Don't be afraid. The man said, oh, why? Because... Then he told the young man that the people who are around us are more than those that you see. Though you see MPP and NDC as biggest or what like political parties, mm -hmm. but this election, those who are going to vote for Kofi Apalu are more than the two combined. We will win the elections. That's it. Oh, this election is done deal. I will win it. I know I'm the next president of Ghana. You still not told us your policy. Okay, the policy. Let, me, let me quickly read what number eight stands for. So the secret influence of angel number eight. That's what Google says. The meaning of number eight resonates with the power and vibrations of self-confidence, inner strength, and personal power. It is, it is associated with authority, success, professionalism, and wealth. The universe and your angels will keep sending you messages if you do. So eight is angel. Fantastic. I'm winning the election. Angelic candidate. Let's take a look <laughs> at this video quickly. When we come up, we we'll continue to talk to Mr. Kofi Akpalu. We have a lot of young men out there who have fantastic business ideas, but they don't have money to start those businesses. 
that will create jobs for themselves and for others. So that is why LPG, we are proposing that we're going to set up a $10 billion equivalent fund to enable young men and women who have potential to start their own businesses, to have access to capital, to go into business. Yeah, I listened to my good friend, Kofi Akwalu, who spoke about $10 billion fund. Already our debt stock is almost $39 billion. I don't know how he intends to raise $10 billion to add up to our debt stock to make it $49 billion. So you should just tell us a little of how he intends to raise that amount of money to pay yeah, jobs. Yeah, uh, you see, our problem, our problem in Ghana, in Africa, is we are afraid to borrow money to do the right things. In my government, I will borrow money to expand our economy. I will borrow money to expand Ghana's economy because we need to grow this economy. You, you mentioned 39 billion dollars we are owing. 39 billion dollars is peanut. The whole of Africa continent, we are owing 1.3 trillion. America alone is owing 31 trillion. Japan is owing 11 trillion. And the whole of Africa, we are owing 1.3 trillion and we call this debt. To me, it's peanuts. We need to borrow more okay. to expand our economy. Okay. <laughs> well, we've had everything you had to say there, yeah. but uh, if the voter is watching, we want you to tell us something that will stick in our head so that when we get to the polls uh, come December 7th this year, we will think about you because we know the MPP is pushing their free SHS agenda. NDC said they are doing some big push. What is that one thing for you? Yeah, I think uh, we need to borrow money to expand our economy. So when I become president, I'm going to borrow more. But the next, any time you visit America, you see the environment is so neat. So, mm. I mean, everybody wants to be an American, okay? They borrow to reach where they are. Mm. So there's nothing wrong borrowing to invest. When I borrow money and I give to the young people out there to start their own businesses, to realize their dreams and aspirations, there's nothing wrong because they will end up contributing back to the state. You are working. This woman is working. Myself, I'm working. We are all paying taxes. Mm. So if you get all the young men out there to work, they all pay taxes. Okay? So why don't you help them? Why don't you help everybody who have... That is why in our manifesto, we are saying that we're going to create one million new entrepreneurs by 2024. Yes. Because if, on average, each an entrepreneur is able to employ four or five people, you are creating six million new jobs. Okay? Create jobs create war. So our manifesto, the theme is that a better tomorrow, a new plan for jobs and wealth creation. We don't want a situation whereby our young people will be traveling through the desert to go and look for money. Yeah. No, look at the young women who were struggling at uh, Lebanon. I mean, it's an eyesore. We could have done something to help these young people. If you had borrowed money to open up com uh, factories for these young people to work in there, mm. Would they have traveled outside? They wouldn't have. No. Otherwise, back to that video, interesting banter between you and uh, uh, Hassan. Yeah, he that, what's the relationship? Uh, you see, he didn't understand where I was coming from. And uh, I saw in his profile that he says he's an accountant. I don't know why he's using that accountant. Because he's not an accountant. <laughs> no, you see, let me tell you something. You can't just call yourself a, a medical doctor. Whilst you're not a medical doctor. You see, so why is he calling himself an accountant? Which mm. association does he belong to? Working uh, for maybe an accounting, something doesn't make you an accountant. Mm. Oh, yes, holding a degree in accounting doesn't make you an accountant. Yes. So What then makes you an accountant? You have to belong to either CA mm. huh, or ACCA okay. or any of the uh, accounting professional bodies. You don't belong to any of them. Even mm. whilst you are in there, yeah, whilst you are in there, if you have not qualified, you can't call us one accountant. Right. So, so you think he can't run this country? Yeah, Hassan because that's why he doesn't understand the, uh, the difference between debt and bonds. Mm. <laughs> because if, if you continue with that, that he mentioned bonds, when I ask him, I do understand the word bonds. Mm. Right. He doesn't even understand. You don't think right. he gets it. Yeah, think so... Hassan Ayariga, Ekiadonko, and Tuyabosum, who, who would make a, a better, better president? president. Uh, to me, Mamie Ekiadonko would do better than them. Oh. oh, really? Yeah, you see, that woman is a very intelligent woman. Mm. And I've been uh, following her and I've been observing her. I mean, she's an inspiration mm. to most people who think maybe they've not done education, mm. uh, higher education or whatever. I mean, she's an inspiration to them. 
the inspiration to young ladies out there that hey, me, I not go to school, blah blah blah, but I I can also be president. So don't sit there and say no, you cannot blah blah blah. So, so she'll make the better president. She'll, she'll be better than uh, than Hassan Ayari. Among and those three, Shabusu. who is your biggest competition among those? Uh, no, none of them. <laughs> Zero. Oh, no chance. Me, for the, the, the only person that I see mm. uh, is Nana Kuvalu. Right. People say you're essentially a member of the MPP. Why this? Oh, no. What you say no, 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 no. Uh, it's not true. You see, he's my competitor. The rest, I don't see them as competitors. <laughs> because I'll beat all of them. <laughs> Including John Dramani Mahama. John Dramani. I'll beat John Dramani Mahama. Ma, 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 what, what do you call it? John Dramani Mahama. Okay, John so, Dramani so it Mahama. means that in case of a runoff in these elections, you would be, you would uh, be, it, you would be the going to be, two. It's going to be a runoff. Mm. It will be between me you and, 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 and Oh, really? Bravo. John Dramani will beat him. All right. So let me ask you. In, uh, in case, <laughs> well, in, I, I in know case this runoff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in case there's a runoff yeah. that you are not a part of, no, the, I'll be part. The, the top two candidates. The, the, no, this Who, election. Which party would you align with? No, no, this election. Mm. I'm going to win the election. Okay. So even if there's going to be a runoff, mm. I'll be part of the runoff. You'll be part of so the runoff. Yeah. Between but you it's going and to somebody be, else. Yeah, yeah, it, exactly. It's going to be uh, maybe what do you call it uh, a straight thing. Then I win it because the young men out there. They, they, they have confidence in me. Right. They know I'm the one who is speaking their mind, who is speaking what they want. I and, love I will his do, confidence. and I will do it. I love his confidence. <laughs> uh, we'll move straight to Expressive Celebrate, and we want to say congratulations to Selwa Ami here. Uh, she won RTP Newscaster of the Year at the Just Ended Radio and Television Personality Award. Selwa, congratulations to you. Congratulations, Selwa, Selwa Ami, Ami here. Our very own. Three times Home running. support, back to back. She's won it three times consecutively. Congratulations back to, back, to you, back to back. It's not easy. Congratulations, really new cast of the year, Sewa Ami here, here at GH1 uh, TV. Also, uh, congratulations to David Riverson, the ah. on your marriage. Uh, this, congratulations. This was a really exciting event, so congratulations. To Mr. Aww. and Mrs. David Rivers in the Kyoko. They were so lovely. They're very great. He who finds a wife finds, finds a, a good, good thing. thing. <laughs> so good tidings will come your way. <laughs> David looks like someone we know too. That face. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. David Rivers in the Kyoko. It's interesting stuff. Mm. So, Mr. Palu, you see our very own. See our, our very own. Um, so I'm here, oh, back-to-back yeah. -back news and call. Oh, yeah. Do you have any message for her? Do you like, do you like how she Oh, she should keep it up. Mm. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then uh, continue to pray. Mm. And uh, the, the, the young girls will follow her. The young girls Definitely. will follow her. <laughs> Anyways, we, we go on to congratulate Robert. Robert. Congratulations to you, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Robert, Robert Daniel. Daniel. Mm. Programs yeah. manager of Metro TV. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Robert. Everybody, everybody. When is your own? <laughs> Everyone is, is getting own? married. Oh, when my God. Own? 2022. Anyway, so Mondays normally is our doses and power, power and enrichment. We inspire the youth. We motivate them. So we want you to speak to any youth watching who they, are, they think about giving up and, you know, they've reached that limit. We want you to inspire them, you know, tell them some few words so it would keep them going. Oh, uh, what that I would say is that they should just go out there and vote for me to become president. Because when I become president, any young man out there or young woman mm. will be happy mm. to come out to realize his or her vision. Because no matter what you want to do, we will support you. If you want to be a musician, if you want to be a sports person, we will support you. Anything that you want to do, if you want to be a businessman, you want to build a factory, you want to, whatever you want to do, we are ready to support you in government. That is why I want to tell you that, hey, I will borrow the money to help you to make it. So don't give up yet. Mm. Don't give up yet. The future is in your hand. Mm -hmm. Just go out there and vote for Kofi Apalu mm -hmm. to become your next president. Mm -hmm. And trust me, I will transform Ghana with you. Mm -hmm. And Ghana will be a better place. We okay. have some people saying they want to join your party. How do they do that? Oh, actually, I want to leave my number with them. Okay. If they want to... 
they can pick my number. Okay, your so personal uh, number. My After personal this number. last celebrates, oh, wow. then you leave your number. Happy birthday to Jennifer Dankwa uh, of Josie Kids. Happy birthday to you. Uh, and we celebrate you, Jennifer Dankwa. Happy birthday. Oh, Jennifer, God bless you. I Happy wish you birthday, long life Jennifer. and prosperity and keep up the good work. You're doing a good job. God bless you, Jennifer. Happy, happy birthday, Jennifer Dankwa. I'll just pick two messages. Good morning. This is my first time seeing and listening to Mr. Kofi. Please tell him I'm impressed and I would like to work under him. I'm a teacher, but I'm ready to quit and work for him. He is a motivator. <laughs> Good morning. Please, my question to Mr. Kofi Apalu this morning is, what would he do to ensure teachers' welfare? The issue of uh, legacy arrears of teachers are... Uh, and the education sector as a whole when he is elected president come December 2020. Yeah, uh, in my government, mm. we will put a stop to those delay payments. Mm. We will make sure when you start work, you get paid instantly. Okay. Uh -huh, because we don't want a situation whereby you work and after six months, one year, you've not, you, you've not been paid. You've not been paid. That's the reason, that's the way they've been using to steal money. You know? Okay, you can leave your number now. We are wrapping up. Okay, going. my number is 0249-042-189. And uh, I want to repeat it. 0249-042-189. Mm. You can support the party anywhere you are. Our office is just around uh, uh some few blocks away from Top FM. Thank you okay, so much, thank Mr. You. Kofi Akpalu. This has been very interesting. Yes. Unless you know that Mr. Kofi Akpalu will borrow the money and change your life. <laughs> so good luck, Mr. Kofi Akpalu, in about, in about 26 days. And uh, we hope you become president. All yeah, the best. But, but remember, it's number eight on the ballot. Number eight, number on, the eight on the ballot. Absolutely. <laughs> Paper. Well, congratulations. And uh, we say that all the best to you as well. But, but, but vote for me. Say my mom congratulations in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. <laughs> President. Thank you all for watching. This has been a, a dope Mondays. It has been really interesting with Mr. Kofi Akpalu. My name is Bliss King. My name is Jackie. We'll see you tomorrow.